Yo, what's up everyone? It's Zen Gaming back at it with another game called Spookville Cabin Escape. So prepare to be gripped by the tale of the dark magic and supernatural powers as you unravel the cabin chilling mystery. Spookville Cabin Escape transport players into a world where danger lurks around every corner and courage is the only lifeline. So as you guys can see the game is made by Indiescape Games. And if you do want to check it out guys, there is actually a demo on Steam. So, guys, let's add the game to our wishlist. And yes, because the game, honestly, it looks good. Honestly, honestly, it looks good. So guys, I'm not going to bore you with the details. Sorry about that. I'm not going to bore you with all of the small details. So let's actually jump in. Okay, so let's start a new game. Sorry if you guys hear a dog barking in the background. It's my dog is being naughty outside. Sparse tree every couple hundred yards. As they arrive at their cabin nestled by years old trees, Jack reluctantly set to work helping his parents with some chores. So begins Jack's perilous journey into the unknown, where he must confront the evil force that threatens to shatter his world. There's a boy named Jack. This is his story. Venturing into the heart of the mist covered woods with his parents, they travel in their green SUV. They said, There's the green SUV. Of cornfields, a sparse tree every couple Are we now? Okay. I'm so bored. They arrive at their cabin nestled by years old trees. trees. Jack reluctantly set to work helping his parents with some chores. And so begins Jack's perilous journey into the unknown, where he must confront the evil force that threatens to shatter his world. There's a boy named Jack. This is his story. Venturing into the heart of the mist-covered woods with his parents, they travel in their green SUV, cutting through the boring landscape consisting of cornfields. And we are finally in. Looks like mom needs something. The voice acting sounds good. Why is it not popping up? Yeah, okay, it's fine. Looks like mom needs something. Okay, so right outside of the gate, uh, I think it's these ones. Looks like mom needs something. Okay, that is a bit irritating if you keep on repeating yourself. What style looks good though? Only five sticks for all night, okay? So I need five wood. The wilderness is a scary place full of points of interest and adventures to be had. The wilderness has resources that can be collected for upgrading. Be mindful of the current time though. As darkness near rumor has it, evil creatures like giant spiders and werewolves. Oh, that's insane. Love it. Okay, so I actually need to find four more. I need wood files. Okay, so four more. There's one. Oh, so it actually shows on the map for you. Isn't that cheesy? Love it. There's something I can do here. Just want to see. Oh. Hey, I can hide inside here. Would you look at that? I'll just send the video to the developers so they know about the collision issue there.
Okay, here's another log this side. Okay, come on, I need one more. There we go. I see it on the map. And I see it on the floor, so that's perfect. Okay, oh, one remaining. I thought that was the last one. Okay, but now it's the last one. I need to build a wood stack. Oh, I need to go back to the cabin. All right. The fire wood stack. Okay, the, I don't know what's going on with him, but he just started stucking in that pose. There we go. Yeah, good question. Now what? Okay, so I actually let's go inside the cabin quickly. I just wanted to say, what is that figure there with the axe in his hand? Okay, guys, I do just want to add, this is an alpha demo. Um, so, this is not a final ball. So, obviously, you might see lag here and there. And, you know, performance issues or whatever the case might be. This is definitely not the final product, guys. Um, like, honestly, it's, it's not the final product. Um, obviously, the developer actually just pushed it out so that we actually have something that we can play. Uh, like a demo, if, if you want to call it that. So guys, even if you just add it to your wishlist, you know, play the demo, give feedback to the developer. It, it goes a long way. It, and honestly, it helps the developers, it goes a long way, you know, because it, it motivates them to finish this game. Because I've seen a lot of uh, multiple developers leave games after a while because they lose motivation. And I don't blame some developers. So even if you just add it to your wishlist, guys, that, that's all you need to do to really help the developers out. Because, I mean... Um, so, from what I read, this is like a, a father and son um, game studio. So, this game is based on a father and son's relationship, if you want to call it like that. And, guys, you can see the love and passion that actually went into this game. I mean, look at the art style. It's, it's beautiful. It's stylized. But yes, I don't want to keep rambling about the same stuff all over and over and over. I'm just, you know, trying to say from my point of view what I see. Okay, I want to go back to the cabin quickly to see if there isn't something else I need to do for my father or for my mom. Let's see. Mom doesn't have any collision. I can walk through mom. I love it. <laughs> Let's see if that has a collision. Does these chairs have? Uh, yes. It's this. Yeah. Looks like mom needs something. 
Okay, so that also does it. There's a surprise in my bed. Let's go get it. A wooden sword. Alright, go beat up the training dummy in front of the cabin. Alright. Wow, this thing just magically appeared. Oh shoot, please. Okay, so the combat mechanics definitely needs a little bit of work. And this feels so forced. I mean, look at that. He goes into a stance and then he does the roll. Make it instantaneous. And then, yeah, the combat is a bit weird. But it's fine, you know. Obviously, all of this can be worked on. Mom, stop yelling me and tell me what to do. Let's see, actually see what's this side. Collision issue! Again guys, if you do see collision issues, just don't mind it. Like I said, it is a alpha. It's not even a, like a real demo. It's more just uh concept if you will okay so something tells me i need to go out and explore that's the only thing i i can think of on what to do But at least now I got the weapon to defend myself. That's all that counts at this stage now. And my office at least back to 400 again. So it looks like when you... Um, I just want to see something. Is there a controls? Uh, yeah. Just the camera sensitivity. I wanted to see if, if there isn't like a way to craft. Could see B, tab, I, nothing works. Okay, that's definitely not a way. Um, it's fine, let's pick up these resources as we go. So this is the map. The map kind of looks weird. Is there only like the cabin? Is that it? There's nothing else. It's only the cabin. And then the open world. Wow. I would say they need to add like more buildings and stuff. No, just add a little bit more stuff. That's all you guys need to do. Oh, another collision issue. Let's see if... Okay, these ones are fine. These also have collision issue. Yeah, but that's fine, that's fine. Don't worry too much about the uh, collision. I just need to make sure I'm inside again before it turns dark. Well, then I'm back at the cab. Why is the music playing so loud? I have no idea why the music's playing, but it's okay. Let's advance. So I want to see what is this way, because I actually see loot laying on the floor, it looks like wood, so let's actually go get it.
I just wanna taste something. Can I actually reach the end of the world? Just a taste, guys. I don't mean, you know. Oh, oh. Well, sure I can. Can I somehow get back up? There we go. Made it. Okay, so the developers just need to look at this. Um, obviously, it will be fixed at the end of the day. But maybe just have a look at that. And just, you know, add like invisible walls or fencing or something just to stop the player from being able to get you. You know, being able to go out of bounds. So I don't think there is going to be a lot to the game because, like I said, this is a play thing. So I highly doubt there's going to be a lot to do in the game, guys. Um, I haven't really spoken to the developers about it, about the game, um, but, I, but I'll, I'll make a point and I'll contact them and I'll see what they say on how long the game is. Because guys, in all honest opinion, I think this is going to be a very short video because it doesn't look like there's a lot to do yet. But obviously, as, like I said, as the developers are going on, they are going to add more to the game. They are going to, you know, make the game a lot better than what it is now. Because, yes, this game has got a lot of um, collision issues. That's the only thing I can notice. And I feel like the combat needs work. The running and, you know, the, the general animations is fine. But this also needs work. I just feel it's a bit cheesy. But before I go out, let, let's just run. Let, let, let's see what there is. At least there's no food and hunger. You know, that can actually kill us or... So, so we are good in that sense. But now, the thing, other thing that I don't know... Do we actually have more enemies? Do we... Like... Well, what, are you, what is the point now actually of the demo if there's not really much to do? And guys, again, I'm not bad mouthing the game. I'm not giving a bad review on the demo. It's just, I would like to know what we are actually playing. Like... Is it just so we can see some of the, the combat mechanics and... Picking up stuff is that what we can play now and obviously don't forget our role just so we can see the early stages of the game so guys obviously the developers are not going to spoil too much of the game uh, which I do I do respect that but just give us a little bit more to do in the demo that's basically all, I, all I'm asking come on so that that's that's about it just, just give us a little bit more to do in the demo um give us a little bit more fighting you know just so we can enjoy ourselves because at this stage it's just a running simulator this is all it is so i could be wrong maybe there is more quests maybe there's not I, i've got no idea but so far i don't see anything and there was no hint that i need to um Go look for something. There's nothing on the UI, so let me actually run back to the cabin and then we'll take it from there and see if there is anything that I can actually do. I'm here, so I might as well pick it up quickly. Game looks good. Like, it honestly, it looks good. Okay, yes, another piece of wood. 
You see, there's no menu to actually show what what's your current obje objective or even if there is, I'm just in, in the player's direction listening you need to look for 50 wood. Judge, you know, just so we know. Okay, so let's actually see if there is something else that I need to do here, except for running around and pick up the wood and stone. Okay, let me go to my father. Okay, he's not speaking to me. Uh, e, F, enter. I'm trying to speak to my mother. She's not speaking to me. Okay, this is just to close the door. Sorry guys, I'm just going everywhere now just to see what's going on with this light. Now I think it's just oh no, 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 it's not the light. Oh, oh! Don't try and jump over this. So guys, in my honest opinion, uh, I don't know. It feels more like a running simulator at this moment than our, than our actual demo. Because you had like three quests and now it's done. Uh, and I did check on the settings. There's nothing really on the settings. Audio, it's only the game audio. Okay guys, so I do apologize for this being such a small piece of the game. Wait a minute. Just want to see if I can pick this up. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Just as I wanted to quit, I saw that. So, I think I'm going to reach out to the developer and ask him a few questions about this and see basically what there is to do in the game, you know? Because at this stage, I just feel like it's a running simulator and you kill the bees and that's it. Then you're stuck, you've got nothing else to do. Um, so, I don't know if you need to run around, pick up all of those resources that you guys see there. I, I, I don't know. Um, so I'm going to reach out to the developer and I'll find out. Alright, but then I'll see you guys in the next one.